I'm actually quite convinced that this is the beginning of a new epoch. There's a group of people that I work with, They're, they are all in San Francisco, and they've all basically convinced themselves that in the next two to four years, the average is three years, the entire world will change. I just gave you a workflow example that's true of every business, every government, and every group human activity. So when you understand that the agentic revolution and the reasoning revolution together really change the way we operate as humans, then you understand why the San Francisco consensus is so powerful. The consensus is that this marches forward and that there's a moment when what is called recursive self-improvement, the system begins to learn on itself where it goes forward at a rate that is impossible for us to understand. It, the step after that <coughs> is when the system, we, the general term there is superintelligence, is where the system is smarter than the sum of all humans. The opponent may decide that once you get there, they'll never catch up, and then you can do really bad things to them. Then you have an issue, of essentially a race condition of preemption. So these are just the beginnings of these ideas. But if you believe <coughs> that AI is this powerful, then every aspect of human experience will be touched by it, including national security, politicians, democracies, and so forth. I spend lots of time in conversations with people who say, will democracy uh, survive AGI, right? I mean, th these are really the core questions about humanity that are being raised by the arrival of this intelligence.